My name is Felicia Landry. I'm a theater historian. I have, I have been a member since 1999. Uh -huh. Great. It, it, and it was the same year I was invested into the College of Fellows of the American Theater, so that was a very good year for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although the, uh, my very first time at National Theater Conference, uh, my flight out of Kansas City was canceled and I had to miss the first day and come in. The, I think I missed Thursday and came in on Friday. Uh, but <laughs> after that, it was all okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us about the, the person that Yes, you. the question is uh, who has most influenced me and I can't uh, reduce it down beyond f four, uh, but I'll start with a member of National Theater Conference, Martha Coignier. Oh, what a presence she was. I, every time I come here, I remember her standing in front of that fireplace, her orange scarf, and she uh, uh, influenced me in terms of, just as a role model in international theater, mm -hmm. because she was president of the American branch, well, in fact, the, the international, mm -hmm. uh, international theater, uh, conf um, ITI uh -huh. Institute. Right. <laughs> and uh, I, I was introduced to her the first time I came to New York, and she took me out for a drink. And then later she invited me to come to a Scandinavian playwright session. I flew to New York specially for that, thanks to Martha. It was very influential. I learned, uh, met a lot of the important Scandinavian playwrights. I, I really admired her and, and loved it when we got to be friends. Uh, but uh, the other three I would mention, I, I, want, I would want to start with my father, who was a great man. Uh, and my mother probably thought I would grow up to marry an Air Force officer, uh, become an officer's wife, and play bridge at the officer's club. And my father always thought, no, I could do something else. Yeah. Uh, he wanted me to be a scientist, but, and, but when I, it was the arts, that was great. And he was always there encouraging me. Uh, so then was probably he, the- Was he in the arts? Uh, was he took us. He took my, me and my sisters to the theater when we, when we were stationed in England. We went to the theater in London and Oxford all the time. So yes, he did. Um, he did encourage it a lot. <laughs> and of course, in those days, you know how everyone starts in theater. They think they want to act. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Um, then I, I probably the single most important theater influence was um, Dr. Patricia McElrath. And uh, she um, hired me. I was came from the University of Texas at Dallas, where I had not got tenure, which was devastating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she hired me at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, where I still teach, 41 years later. Um, and she was not everything. I mean, not only, let's say, rescued my career, served as a mentor, um, but became a real friend and a role model. I mean, little things like how to pick up a check at a restaurant. <laughs> um, I, I just learned so much from watching her, from admiring her. I'll never be the saint she was. <laughs> um, and she had a remarkable career. And then the fourth person I'd like to mention as an influence was also someone who became a very dear friend, Sonia Moore. So, oh and for many, as long as she lived, every time I came to New York, I stayed at her apartment. Uh, s starting with summers when I was in uh, some NEH seminars. I, was, I had three NEH sum summers in New York, uh, one for a seminar and one for working at the Billy Rose Theater Collection. Or, and then just when I came to National Theater Conference, whatever, I stayed at her Park Avenue apartment uh, and just was immersed in the Russianness of it. <laughs> um, she, uh, we went to the theater together. I, I, I loved her. I really, really loved her. She became a very dear friend. And then toward the end, when she was rather frail, I would always um, time my flights to ATHE to coincide where we could go into the city together. She was a, a very strong-minded, very well, very Russian. <laughs> and somehow we just really hit it off, starting with when Dr. Mack, Patricia McElrath, invited her to uh, do a brief residency at UMKC. 
And at that point, I was just, I was interested in Russian theater. I wanted to interview her about her experience acting under Rakhdangov. And uh, so we had the interview, and then I took her to the theater, and we just, we just really hit it off. So how she influenced me in theater, I suppose in, in terms of all four of them, it's kind of subtle. It's partly that they were role models for uh, achievement, uh, love of what one's doing, <laughs> um, just being part of a bigger picture, and, um, and awareness of, of our theatrical ancestors, how much we owe them. Mm. How, I mean, just being here at the Players, it just overwhelms me every single yes. time. How I'm just in a long line of of great people that I, I, I hope I live up to. The, uh, you have. The, <laughs> you have. Thank you. Thank you.